Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Game Pockets for the week of May 26th, 2022 episode. I haven't done this in a while. Mm, mm, mm. See if you can get it. 121. Correct. Yeah! I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me digitally, of course, as always. Alex. Hello, my fellow believers. Okay, okay, believers. <laughs> okay, uh, cool. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you did, you did, uh, you did. I thought you were about to say believers because I haven't heard that in a very believers. yeah believers. You remember those? Mm-hmm, that was a big mm-hmm. deal. What uh, was, um, is Justin Bieber still doing do songs? Does he still do? I, I think he was like he, he was like huge and he got rich and know. he was like, eh, it's fine. No, I know as as in a, a a little maybe side quote, maybe not quote from uh, a show, a little show called Ozark. Are you a believer? Are, <laughs> Are you a believer? A believer? I've been watching that show. You started watching the show, right? I'm about to finish season one. Oh no, I did finish season one. I'm about to start season two. That's what I'm at. The way I did season finish. one ends is the way mm-hmm. season one ended. I was mm-hmm. like, <laughs> what? I was you, like, you think I need it goes to... some way and it doesn't. Look, 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 look! I'm not gonna say anything. Let's hope my wife doesn't hear this. I stayed up to almost four o'clock in the morning watching that. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. That's a very Alex move. Thank you right. so much for joining us for this Ozarks fan cast. Right. We appreciate you. Remember, you can support us in a number of ways. Let's go over the support and then we'll go right into the news for the week. How about that? First, if you're on hmm. YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, share. Easy. You know what to do. If you're on a podcast service of your choice, five-star reviews. If you want to support us financially, patreon.com slash achievers. Now, before we get into the news, before we get into the rapid fire, I want to know one single question and I ask Alex every single week. Alex, mm-hmm. what have you been playing? So a little bit of a little bit of stuff. Um, there's not much on Xbox right now. Okay. So I switched over to my PlayStation, and I'm doing a little bit of uh, platinum hunting. Mm. So just little things here and there. Um, I've heard Conan Exiles was pretty easy. I just need one trophy left for that, okay. which it requires a co-op person. So mm. I need a I need somebody for that. Wink, wink, nod, nod. No. Literally, no. give me. 10 minutes of your time. Yeah, no, no, it's not 10 minutes of time. Now I got to download it. I got to delete. I'm surely. X. You said four? Four to seven gigs. I, 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 okay, is what I believe it was. much better. I assume that would have been like 50 gigs, if I'm being it, honest with you. Or maybe it was. I don't know. I could have swore it wasn't that much. just pulling four out of your ass? I'm hoping it's 50 see. now, so I can be like, how did you get to four? <laughs> it's not even close. <laughs> well, because just, well, because in the last day, I've, do- I've downloaded like three games. In uh, F- so, let me see. Uh, PS4. PS4? Or PS5. Wow, well, well, Alex looks nice. that up. I have been playing Fire Emblem Awakening. Yeah, Ooh. how are you enjoying it? So good. I'm very deep into the game now. I did the thing in RPGs where like you get to a certain point in the story and you unlock all the side quests and now I'm mm-hmm. doing all the side stuff. I'm recruiting all the characters, getting all the kids from the future together, building up all the relationships that I think need to be built up. And it's a really fun time. My favorite is um my favorite is like the core group of like you and your love interests and like cr- crumbs and his love interest with all his kids. Like that's like a super strong party. And then you have like your stragglers on the sides and yeah. it's so good. I love this game. I can't wait to uh, literally right after this podcast, I'm booting it up and playing it. So, yep. Yeah, no, I've been, it's been planning hunting. So like I said, I did Conan and uh, did my name as Mayo three. <laughs> of course you did. Working on the apex. Rocket League, Rocket League is gonna take forever. Uh, and I've done a bunch of them, and then I realized like a lot of it is I'm like, fifty kilometers is a lot. Yeah, it's it's more than you think. <laughs> yeah, it's more we'll than that. I yeah yeah. We'll say that it used to be five hundred <laughs> kilometers, which is and I don't even think that it registered. Fuck. But I I did this thing. I did the rubber band analog stick thing where it, it, where you just let it go around around. I left it on for three hours. I came back. The timer at the top, it just said zero. So I don't know if the timer would like, I don't know if it messed it up. And then when I stopped doing it and I went to like save, 
the game froze and i was like so the, the so i like the, was all of that for nothing i mean it's not like I, <laughs> maybe I, it's not like i wasted my time because i wasn't there looking at it but yeah who knows? i don't know who knows yeah, good luck know. good luck with the 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 shenanigans that you're pulling from yeah I, I i wish you all the luck i am not really been playing too many games i've been doing that i've been watching ozarks been catching up some tv shows i'm going to start yep. watching naruto shippuden and i'm very excited about i have alex hmm? in this phone oh a watch list that i will be oh, yeah? using to skip fuller episode filler episodes so of- i am going to re- uh, of naruto shippuden so i will be watching artist food and i will be skipping the full uh, filler episodes um i'm gonna be using multiple to get some mm-hmm. uh because it's been a long time i i remember uh a couple of the arcs um but i i need to like catch myself back up so i'm gonna be using multiple watch uh guides kind of combining them together and using multiple re- kind of reviews to see what i really yeah. want to watch because there's a lot of filler where i just i'm, I'm just like i'm not I don't have enough time to really sit there and waste my time, so I want to watch the ones where the cool stuff happens, not where Asuma learns about his past and he and he how much he loved bananas or whatever the fuck this episode's going to be about. So I'm very excited to get back into that because I've been a, I've been hankering for Naruto. I can't really <laughs> tell you why. There isn't really a reason. Alex, I'll tell you a story really quick. Okay. Um, my YouTube uh, on my phone. You know how mm-hmm. you have your home screen and it kind of suggests things for you to watch? Okay. I have no idea why it's told me this. No idea. Okay. But I have somehow keep watching them. From Naruto, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, the game, they keep showing me the ultimate attacks. And I keep okay. watching them and I don't know why. It's because they're just so beautifully well done art. I don't know if yeah. anyone's ever played those games, but if you do, you can like have an ultimate attack and then you can have team attacks and things. Mm-hmm. And they're always huge and the art is always like very beautiful. And I, every time it comes up on this uh, phone screen, I just I have to watch it. Also been watching cuz for some reason they've been showing me this too and I'm just loving the algorithm. They're showing me like good fight scenes from the show. So like they showed me Madara versus the Ninja Storm Alliance, which is really good. And they're they're showing me like Naruto versus Kinoniyoshi or whatever his name is, the mm-hmm. evil guy, and it's just so cool. So I've been watching those two, and that's getting me, I think, in the mood to actually like watch more of the show. I don't own yeah. it all, so I might need to like watch like what I have, and then like use some sort of service to watch the rest. I don't, I'm gonna have to figure that out, achievers. If you have like something. Let, like, let me know. I don't know how I'm going to do this, honestly, without spending hundreds of dollars, which I'm not doing. So I want to try and watch as much as I can with what I own, because I own, like, I want to say a half, maybe even close to two thirds of Naruto Shippuden. Yeah. I own all of Naruto, but I've watched that so much, I don't really want to watch that. So I'm just going to be watching Shippuden for now. And then whenever I get through that, I don't know. More games. I, we don't have to. We, we, we're going into a, 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 nothing. a, a very. A very long. It's why I'm doing the platinum run. Yeah, like we we have time to relax. Like there's yeah. really no rush to really do anything. Like you have time, yeah. sp- spending on games that you want to play. You know, yeah. invest in your other hobbies if you got something else you want to do too. Like take advantage of it. Was it? Uh, oh, another thing I've been doing, Alex. Destiny hmm. 2's new season. Yeah. So this so this is launched. It's called Season of the Haunted. It's a great so far season they revamped a subclass the solar subclass it revolves around like you know fire and healing and they revamped it and it's so far really fun although i am a little disappointed in the warlock which is my kind of second main character but i'm very impressed with the hunter subclass that is very fun right now there's a special ability you can use alex if you get five solar kills so either with your abilities or with a gun you get to use a thing called Gunpowder Gamble. And it's three trip mines, like, taped okay. together. And you throw it. And do you know Ash's ability of the dynamite in Overwatch? Okay. It's the exact same thing. So when you throw it, your, your, like, your sights are perfectly on it. So you just shoot. And a big explosion happens. And it kills a bunch of stuff. And, like, everything gets on fire. And it's very 
Very fun. It's one of my favorite things in the expansion next to the Warlock Snap. So if you've been looking at the trailer, Warlock has a new ability where they'll snap and like five fires like come out and hit things in front of you. And it's just a very it's it's a it's a great way of showing someone like sound design is almost as important as gameplay design because my god is that one of the most satisfying things to do in this game is hearing the and then do you think they should have done the five fires each flame was a different color so make it like the infinity gauntlet stop it i I, see what i would actually like to do is is let's let's mess with some of the colors like 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 when i do that make it blue like blue fire you know like that would have been cool i understand they that would probably be very hard or maybe be confusing or something to like new game. But, but if, but if I all of a sudden snap my fingers and like blue flames come, that'd be almost so much more sick. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd be so cool. But enough of, enough to say, I have to talk about it. It's a, it's a great season. Leviathan's back. You get to run around. The dungeon is tomorrow. So I will give you my insights on the dungeon next week. Alex, is that all mm. for what you've been playing? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I have certain things that I'm, uh, that we, I, I was gonna lay it on us. Going to play, which we we could talk about more later. But this, uh, I want to try the Strangers of Paradise because I went and grabbed that. Right. So I'm gonna give that a shot. Okay. Let me let me know what you think. Cause yeah, I I tweeted this out and you actually um replied to it. I, Strangers of Paradise is a, such a strange game because I have never heard so many people make fun of a game, say how bad mm-hmm. it is. And but still play re- it. Still play it and recommend other people play it. I I was just the most. It's just a confuse. That was a confusing experience well, for me. It was confusing. The amount was of, conf- but everyone had the same reaction. Everyone yeah. was shitting on it. Everyone didn't like it, and everyone recommended it. <laughs> I was so confused. Like people would not like it, but they kept playing it, and then they were like, ah, oh, like there's so many problems. Well, but like you Andy, should really try it out. It's like what? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I was watching Andy Cortez um try it, and one of the thing he he commented underneath, and he was like, "Could this game be better than Elden Ring?" Question mark. I'm like, "What?" <laughs> he's probably he's just fucking with you. you like know, I, you no, know, you gotta do that in the YouTube game. No, of course, of course. But I'm like, come on, Andy. You're like, are you you're baiting me, man? And it it's is, working. And it works. It worked. You let it yeah. happen. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, aside from that, uh, let's get into the news. The news! Rapid, rapid Fire is going to be pretty big. Uh, so kind of like the opposite of Rapid Fire, or maybe more like a Rapid Fire, because when you hear Rapid Fire, you think of multiple things quickly, but uh, I digress. Quick one. Ex-art director for Idos Montreal told True Achievements, which I didn't even know had a, <laughs> an interview column, so I'll be checking that out now, that his studio once worked on a, quote, really really cool version of final fantasy 15 end quote he stated he worked on the version of the game but square decided to bring it back to japan at some point so that was just weird i was like what i just bought draw was working on a cool version of final fantasy 15 i don't know what he means by that it did they did not very much digress i tried finding a little bit more information that wasn't that much more i yeah. just want to make it a quick quick bring up imagine i just montreal <laughs> making final fantasy 15 <laughs> That's interesting. Well, Idos Montreal, what, aren't they the ones who did like Deus Ex and stuff? Yes. So they did yeah. Deus Ex, and then um, I want to say they made the the second or the f- third Tomb Raider game. Uh, I think it was right. the third uh, one. Shadow, yeah, they made Shadow of the Tomb Raider, so the third one. Yep, Thief, Shadow Tomb Raider, yep, Tomb Raider, yep. Yikes. Okay. They made Thief. Ooh. Dead Space creator said it was weird. To not be involved in the remake. So Glenn Schofield gave a quote to IGN. He said, quote, a bit weird to not be involved in the remake, end quote. But he did take the announcement as a compliment. I guess what he means is um, he takes that the the idea that it needs to be remade as a compliment being it's a great game. But he did say it's weird not being involved in a remake. Alex, what do you feel about the original creator not being involved in a remake of a game? It is it is weird because it's not the first time we've seen this, but I'm just saying it's strange. Well, it well because in my head, if it was me, I'd be like, I know this is not what they're trying to do, but are they trying to take credit for my work? Mm. But I, I'm assuming I'm, I'm I'm sure that's not the case. No, 
Yeah. Like, you know, deep down, I'm sure there was maybe like a, a split second that, yeah, that, I, that I, he did think that. Yeah, I would, you know, it's hard to... Well, I mean, because I, like, Dead Space is such an iconic game. Yeah. And, for, and be like, hey, we're going to do this remaster because it's such a great game. But we're not going to speak to the original creator about it. Yeah, I would. I, I feel like yeah. you should, I feel like you're almost kind of morally obligated to at least have him involved in the conversation. Maybe yeah. ask him a couple questions. Just, I mean, you know, just kind of show him some respect. You know, like yeah, just, the guy made what you made a bunch of money on. Now that is the that is the nature of working under someone, right? You don't own what you're making, so that is a shame. But still, mm-hmm. uh, it is a little um. I would I would say disrespectful is probably a right word to use. A little, a little disrespectful not to just yeah at least have him at the table. <laughs> no, yeah, pay him a couple thousand like, dollars to show up for a meeting. I don't know. It's yeah, EA. it's a little weird. They have the money. Anyways, so this has been very strange. And let me know, um, achievers, if anyone has experienced this and see how it's it's being fixed or. Uh, what's being done about this so there was a technical error for players in the asia market so the new plus memberships have already launched over there and if you had purchased the membership at a discount that they were being incorrectly charged for the upgrade pricing now playstation tweeted that this was an error and it's going to be fixed but a bunch of people said that they were being impacted going up to upgrade to let's say premium having like two years of plus but then having to pay the difference of what you stacked which is very very weird and now this was only coming from first hand experiences so i couldn't get a lot of information but that seemed to be the problem everyone who had kind of like stacked memberships Mm -hmm. were being charged for the difference which is very strange first off why you would ever do that uh, because yeah, it just seems like you're just kind of nickel and diming over a couple bucks to get someone on your new server. Second, seems like a very strange error. Doesn't seem like an error. It seems like maybe something that well, someone that- did and it didn't seem unpopular. So they're now saying it was an error. But I do say I do. I, I, I've heard like when you when you factor in technology like the weirdest stuff can go wrong so i'm not i'm not saying they're lying i'm just saying it's, that's a weird thing that had an error seems very specific um mm. what did you think well that's what worries me because like for example like i just re- i i think it was in march i renewed my playstation uh plus and then in april i got playstation now for a year and i was like so my worry is like when this comes up am i gonna be charged a difference because of the uh, now or is now just my my the what i paid for is just gonna go away so i just wasted that or am i actually gonna be giving the 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 conversion the that conversion they had that we had that we yeah. talked about yeah so i think you're fine um i think this unfortunately just it was an error playstation did come out regardless if it was an error or not playstation came out and said it was so it's not gonna happen to us um mm-hmm. i do feel bad for and um, anyone in our um, Asia markets, Asia audience that's listening right now, if you got charged, they did say they're going to give you a credit if that did happen to you. So you don't have to worry too much, but it's it, they still have your money, which is kind of lame. But at least you have something for a return. So sorry that happened, but at least they fixed it for you. Sony confirmed, sticking with them for a second, Sony confirmed that they did not force devs to add trophies to classic games coming to their new service for PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium. Uh, to kind of expand on that, some games are getting PlayStation support trophies, though. So a couple of them, um, some examples, Ape Escape, Hot Shots Golf, IQ, Intelligent Cube, and Siphon Filter are all getting trophies. And according to Sony, trophies are going to be a game-by-game basis. So what I read into all that, Alex, is Sony is just, if you bring in trophies, you're going to do it. I don't think they're ever even going to ask anyone if they're going to put trophies in the game. I think they're just going to be like, if you put it in, cool. Um, I don't think they very much care if they... No, yeah, I honestly would have been kind of concerned if they did care and be like, hey, you need to have trophies. I'd be like, why? I mean, it's you're making the people... You're making them work more yeah, on I, an old classic game. I mean, like... Yeah, I'm, I'm of two minds. I agree, because if they do make 
trophies mandatory you do cut into people who are willing to put on service because some there there's just a reality that some pubs and some devs like who have these ip i mean literally want to do the least amount of work possible putting these games on the service so a little bit of me is like i wish i wish you had to but again i do agree with you that more work for the dev might actually de-incentivize them to even put the game on there in the first place which yeah. i'm like I'd, i guess I'd, i would rather have more games without trophies than less games but with trophies so i'll take it yeah not too big of a deal and this is a weird one dino crisis art appeared on the hong kong playstation network on the playstation plus like renewal screen so there was a little picture and it was of a person from dino crisis Mm-hmm. on the like classics page now this game is not in the service so that was Maybe weird not. so it seemingly confirms that dino crisis is for sure coming to the service so that's funny all those dino crisis fans cool there you go and um i'll go ahead and quickly read this tweet that the uh that uh, PlayStation made in regards to that error. So, quote, due to a technical error, players in Asia who have been pr- who have previously purchased a PlayStation Plus membership at a discount have been incorrectly charged for the upgrade pricing. This error has been fixed and impacted players will receive a credit. We thank you for your patience, end quote. So that was the exact wording. Um, hopefully, that's all fixed out. And it should be by now, because uh, that was mm-hmm. a few days ago. Um, yep. This is another rapid fire. I was going to put this in day updates, but I, I'm just going to put it now because we have so much PlayStation moves. The PlayStation days of play will be live as of recording, I believe. So go check out those games if you want to save some money on your PlayStation. That's always a huge, huge time mm-hmm. to buy games for your, uh, all our PlayStation fans out there. So if you want to go check out some good prices, go ahead. Uh, this is uh, not surprising, but sad. You are no longer able to transfer games between the PS3 and Vita. So you will no longer be able to grab a P- uh, Vita or PS3 and be able to basically interact with them at all now, aside from uh, uh, remote play, maybe. I think remote play still works, but aside from that, it's nothing else. And then this is a quick um, investors meeting. This happened, I believe, this morning as of recording. Um, PSVR 2 will launch with, quote, 20 plus major, end quote, first and third party titles. Um, I'm pretty sure they're using major pretty liberally there. So let's not get too excited. But yeah. I think we have a good chance of a healthy um, launch lineup for the PSVR 2, uh, especially since they've kind of gone all in on PSVR 2 in terms of like kind of showing things, uh, how pretty it looks, it being only a single cable, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Um, still no news on pricing. Still no news on dates. Um, we will get to a rumor in a second, maybe talking about that, though. Um, They said they're going to invest more into new IPs than ever before. There are two new live service games planned to drop in the next fiscal year. So by fiscal year of 2022, we will have two live service games. I'm assuming one of those is Last of Us. um, Oh, I'm blanking on the name, Alex. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. The multiplayer mode for Last of Us. What is that called? Oh, Factions. Thank you, Factions. I'm assuming one of those is Factions. I cannot think of the other one. Uh, what the other one might be. I, I know I, I, we have pretty strong authority that there is a SOCOM in development, so maybe it's SOCOM. It could be. It could be anything, though. Uh, it, it could be something I'm just not thinking about. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's going to be an aggressive growth plan for mobile and PC. Very, very, very strange that they added uh, aggressive growth plans. Like, um, I know that sounds like wordy, like, but they, they're being... <laughs> I know that sounds like a wordy, right? This investor meaning like, oh, they're going to use the term aggressive, but but I I think that's I think that's a big deal. I think them say, them pointingly bringing out, hey, uh, they we are going to be aggressively going into mobile and PC. That mm-hmm. could mean a lot of things. That could mean maybe they start launching quicker on PC. Uh, they did release the financials of how their recent P- PC games performed when they mm-hmm. launched on there, and they were great. They made great numbers for for them. They probably easily like made an incredible amount of money um, because porting to PC costs very little. So good for them. Holy Expect sh- much more. Ghostwire is thirty bucks. Uh, really? That's wow. Ghostwire Tokyo is thirty bucks. Wow, that's pretty good. What does that mean? <laughs> That means it's on I, sale. I, I, well, no, no, no. I mean, like, like, well, 
it just came out so like do you think it it's is it if it do you think it's too discounted like is it no, to be it like did, it, did it just it come good? out did it just come out let me see it's been two months right goes that that kind of lines up with a with a like a third party exclusive launch single player game right you know what i mean like it's march it's, okay march 25th so literally two months exactly yeah so yeah that okay. doesn't really surprise me okay I just haven't heard anything about it. I don't know if it's like any good or not. I've heard it's good. I heard it's cool. I know okay. that um, a lot of people have been digging. I what pod, I, uh, Sacred Symbols. I listen to them on the weekends when they mm-hmm. um, release their podcast, and they were enjoying it a lot. I don't know if th- I don't know if they finished it. I think they did. I think they didn't. Um, I think they even did a spoiler cast. Achievers, if you if you care about that game, go go listen to their spoiler cast. I heard it's really good. But mm-hmm. I have not. I have to be uh, frank. I, I haven't thought about that game since. It no, launched. yeah, that's why so. I haven't either. That's why when I was just I was scrolling through the days now of play, for, and I was like, you know, let me see what's what's up now for. Thirty dollars. That is very tempting. That's um, why I was like, that is a, not bad. that is that is a very, um, I won't say little amount of money. That's not a little amount of money, but that no, is no, that no. is a good price, I think, for that game. Yeah, I mean, that's half off. I mean, yeah, half off within two months. I mean, hey, like that just goes to show you, achievers. Like, you know, you don't want to spend sixty bucks two months mm-hmm. and it's half yeah. off, and that's and no time has passed for us. So there <laughs> you go. All right. Uh, now we're into rumor roundup, Alex. Uh, not really a rumor now because this does not happen unless it's coming. But Resistance yeah. Retribution has been rated for PS4 and PS5 in Korea. Now the ratings board means uh, kind of like um, achievers. If you if you're kind of new to this thing, it's kind of like like w- what we have here is uh, ESRB, um, the year pass the Peggy system. I don't remember what Korea's is. Peggy but, eighteen. But <laughs> yeah, so they they um they have been rated and you know some people get confused by this like oh it might come out no this means it is coming out think things don't just get rated and don't come out Mm -hmm. like when you are rated on a board that means you are like ready to release almost so resistant retribution is coming um for sure to the playstation um uh uh, extra or premium i'm assuming premium right because they get the more classic games is that how I, that yeah, works? I would assume so. I don't even remember, but I think it would only be the premium because this is a newer one or something. I don't know. We'll have to see like how that works. Um, and a lot of PlayStation news, of course, because of the big investor relations uh, meeting they had. Yeah. So the, there are now three major um, IPs getting TV shows and movies. Let's start with Horizon at Netflix, God of War with Amazon, and there is a Gran Turismo television show in development i was not i did not know about the horizon one yes so that that is now officially all those are in the works they have confirmed that the god of war one was heavily rumored i remember the horizon one had a slight rumor i want to say like three four months ago or something like that um because i faintly remember hearing something about that um that brings the confirmed uh playstation ibs getting tv shows or movies to as follows uncharted of course had recently had their movie the Last of Us, of course, is having the HBO show that's currently um, filming. I believe they're still filming. Twisted yes. Metal is getting um, a TV show. Yes. Horizon is getting. Let me. Do- I'll double check. I'm pretty sure it's a TV show. Well, I already, I already for Horizon. Forgot. Yeah, it's a Netflix show. Th- yeah, thank you. I, I'm pretty sure it's a TV show. So yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. And then Ghost of Tsushima is getting that. Uh, uh... Jesus, can you double check on that? I think it's also Ghost a TV Shima? show. Yeah. Let me see. Grand Tourism was a TV show, and God of War also a TV show with Amazon. So uh, the only thing that should be a movie is Uncharted. Everything else should be TV shows. I don't Do you remember I, who was go, uh, who was uh, Tsushima doing? No, I don't think that was a now. Let me see. I'm just gonna do TV show. Uh, it's supposed to be a movie because this is go to see a movie, and it was like, what do we know so far? So oh, it looks so like it's, it's gonna, be, so a it's gonna be a movie. It's gonna be like a samurai probably movie. That makes sense. Okay, I was wrong. So that's a movie. So the two movies, Uncharted and Ghost of Tsushima, that makes sense. And then TV shows, Last of Us, Twisted Metal, God of War, Gran Turismo, Horizon. Oof, very exciting. 
um alex you got your wish i if i remember correctly you you really wanted that god of war tv show and it's yeah. going and it's going to amazon which i will remind everyone just spent a billion dollars on a lord of the rings movie whether that's good or not who knows but they did mm-hmm. so that means they don't care about writing checks well, the sh- so the show right it was a show did i say a movie sorry i meant yeah. show yeah yeah, yeah the, new sh- the new show coming out i think in a couple months or something Look, i, I have i have high hopes uh, or Yes, I have high hopes because HBO, you know, with their Last of Us and uh, their uh, their prequel and the Game of Thrones, like you can see they have really good budgets. Um, I mean, I've I've seen like the little uh, what are the little leaked pictures of the Last of Us set or whatever. And you can see like there's certain uh, there's like there were certain pictures as as, like, oh, is that going to be that scene? And, you know, all that stuff. And then so I have. um. I have high hopes for these. In uh, Uncharted, it was fun. I mean, I, I, it wasn't amazing, but it was it wasn't bad. Uh, like I, it w- I would say it's a good movie. So I mean, I'm I'm hoping last. It was I'm way hoping... better than I thought it was gonna be. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I it thought good. it was gonna be fucking terrible. Now, was the Papa John scene very weird? Yes, it was. Did he just he just walks in on a on a phone? Where are you? I'm in a Papa John's. <laughs> like, what the fuck? All right, I get I get it. You were paid probably ten million dollars to say that, but it's just weird. Yeah. Um, and then they had a fight in there, and then everyone betrayed everyone seven times. It was very annoying, but. Hey, it was a fun movie. I do. I, I know I'm shitting on it. But go check it out. Like it was a it was a fun time. Um, yeah. Mark Walker, Mark Wahlberg put on a fucking mustache. My God, you look like Mark Wahlberg. Stop. Well, he did. He. I know he did. It doesn't matter though. It's the whole movie. He didn't have one, so it doesn't matter. He, I know. They they waited to the end of the movie to show us this is what you wanted, right? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> like what the fuck? It was like some sick joke. Like oh hey. Uh, you know you really wanted this right but bye <laughs> why did you do this <laughs> just had put in a mustache for the other movie oh god it's so yeah. so weird of a choice to be like you know you like you know what's really Gran Turismo is the one that I'm confused about like what have a racing TV show I, can you I well, can't it's, even it's, th- like when they, it's like when they did the movie for Need for Speed it wasn't terrible but I'm like what's the point no one watched that I did Sorry, Alex watched it. Then no one else did. <laughs> it had Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad. Oh, I forgot. That is true. I forgot that was. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less when that was coming out. I, I remember being it, like, it, it, it was. It was. It was a good driving movie. It was a terrible Need for Speed movie mm. because it had nothing to do with Need for Speed. Mm. It was. It was. Ju- it was just a driving movie. So. All right then. So, like, if I see it as just a car driving movie, it was good. Alex, I went to um, I had the uh, PlayStation investors relations kind of put up here, just uh, uh, glancing at it every now and then between okay. between things since we have so much PlayStation news. And I wanted to bring up a very important note here. Um, hmm. so they were kind of uh, bo- boasting about they are keeping the COVID digital transfer numbers. So they found that in fiscal year of 2021, discs to digital sales were 80-20 favoring digital. So 80% of the digi- of, the, of game spot on the uh, PS4 were digital. Jesus. Yep. So that means two out of 10 games. So one fifth of their games were That's disc games. Game. getting so much like, like, or technically, not any 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 foot traffic. Yeah, that, that is that is just crazy to read. That is crazy to read. Now, of course, I know uh, COVID does affect that, but still, still, let's see if that's that stays around. Um, and then um, uh, it looks like sixty five percent. Okay, yeah, we can skip that. All right, I'm going back to the show. But that's very interesting. I'm just glancing through the investor relations. It, it's long, but good lord, there's a lot of numbers. Um, it appears Returnal is headed to Steam. There was a Steam database page that had a bunch of tags that described the game and uh, mentioned the the new Sisyphus Tower. So uh, the upgraded version of Returnal is coming to Steam soon. So be on the lookout for that. This is a hev- This next thing is heavily rumor. Heavily rumor. I almost don't believe it. All right, but I wanted to bring it up because. A lot of people were talking about it. 
but I okay. do not believe it. Do I believe that this is happening? Yes. Do I believe what's in it? Not really. Capcom is going to be having a showcase. 2.30 p.m. Pacific, 5.30 uh, p.m. Eastern, July 13th, 2022. Rumored showcase uh, is as followed. Resident Evil Village Story Expansion, Reverse, Street Fighter VI, Monster Hunter Rise, Sunbreak, Dragon's Dogma, Exo Primal, Pragmata. Is apparently everything um, that that showcase will feature. Is it true? I'm not sure. It seemed oddly specific and also not really saying anything crazy like if i had to guess what was on a capcom showcase this is what the, this is what it would be well the one that doesn't make sense is dragon's dogma because yes. they haven't announced anything in years for that, dragon's is, dogma. that is the one the one that that kind of goes hmm is if if dragon's dogma is is there i i fully believe that this person knew all this but yeah. again a lot of this is kind of like yeah, if I had a guess, I, I would say Pragmata, even though Pragmata, I, I, I'm surprised by it. If I remember, that's the very strange looking um, like mm-hmm. spacey game. I, I would be shocked if that's there, but it, it could be. Um, the, people are speculating it's, uh, the, it's because it's Dragon's Dogma's 10th anniversary. Yes, uh, that's, that's, yeah, right. that's probably why, because uh, it says Dragon's Dogma's 10th anniversary website opens. Mm. And then it's called, yeah, j- celebrates 10 years of that. And then maybe that's maybe we'll get a glimpse of Dragon Dogma 2. But I can see, okay, I can see the 10 year anniversary thing. Maybe, okay, I could more likely see that. It, I don't know make, if we'll it see it. It makes two. sense. If you remember that Capcom leak what, like two years ago now, I think it was or something, it did say they were working on a Dragon's Dogma 2 something. Yeah, no, yeah. What the, the what, video leak? Yeah, the bit. No, no, no. Uh, not that NVIDIA it, leak, although that might have been there, too. That was on there. That was on there? Oh, well, yeah. it's, for, it's for sure real, then. Never mind. Yeah. Um, but remember the Capcom leak from, like, three years, like, the big Cap, like, the actual Capcom leak where, like, a leak, gotcha. uh, like, that had, um, I believe, Dragon yeah. Sogma on there as well. So we'll have to see what else is coming to that. Mm-hmm. All right. Moving on. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is this is just funny. Uh Norman Reedus accidentally confirmed the Death Stranding 2 is being made. Uh so someone uh on a uh interview he was giving um asks the following. Okay, so you got the book going on. You've got the final session coming out, then the spin-off. Um and you're filming Death Stranding the video game and uh he goes, "We just started the second one." How did that come about? Uh <laughs> and he just he just casually goes oh we just started the second one um uh and then he goes on to talk about like how that came about what he's been doing uh how the mocap sessions went and things of that nature i'm not gonna bore everyone with that stuff if you want to read the full story go check it out but it is uh uh you can tell he's used to movies because a movie that's no big deal yeah we just started filming actually um x thing uh tv <laughs> video games no no you know that's funny that's it. so he definitely broke um some random nda he probably had but who cares uh they actually um i don't know if you saw this alex Hideo kojima made a funny post um i don't think it had any caption but it just had him with uh i think it's called lucille the bat from walking dead yeah and um norman Reedus like on the ground like uh like crying uh-huh. and him about to hit him with the the bat so that's funny. And so so i guess to uh Oh, okay. That's got a spam risk call. Awesome. And in the middle of the podcast, let me turn off the sound. Gotta that. love that. Yeah, yeah. But uh Alex, I mm. have to admit, I, I have I have to admit when I'm wrong, I did not think we were getting Death Stranding 2 at all. Well, I did not think we were going to. So what in the world would it even be about? Like <laughs> oh my god, it, the death was stranded again. There, boom. We have a I mean one. like who knew the, a- the death could have stranded once again? There. Second game. <laughs> now i did like the first one so i am somewhat excited about a, a second one although i did i i wanted i liked that it was like this weird game that we all played and now mm. we'll never see again i like i kind of liked that better as a little more i guess you could say romantic than um it was just a one-hit wonder ip type of thing yeah like like you alex you sent me down what when this come out 20 what that's training 2018 2017 whenever it came out you sit me down the year before and say hey death stranding 
it's about a guy who delivers boxes in the apocalypse and you're gonna uh like base the gameplay basically is shifting your weight perfectly so you can walk really well and you're gonna really like that and i'm like eh, how'd you get in my house and then and then, and then i liked it that's the mm-hmm. game the game is your fucking ups driver but it's really fun especially when you start getting the uh the truck when you start building the roads when you start getting likes on your my, that was my favorite i don't know why that was my favorite part when i would build something and the game would tell you like hey you help someone out and they gave you a like or something i was like oh that's cool you put you put a really good ladder or a uh uh we were a fan of the zip line you can make a zip line network where you almost had to do nothing like you just go into one zip line to another like all around the place that was that was the best thing i didn't know about this i didn't use the zip line till like halfway through the game me mm-hmm. i think i think Uh-oh. i used it right after you did because you had told me about it and i was like mm-hmm. oh okay so and i just i i spent all my stuff no, building zip lines that was like a launch like a man cannon type of thing now i think yeah you could literally shoot yourself across the map i don't know if you have to not have something and i and I, if i remember correctly you actually have a robot friend that can carry mm-hmm. stuff with you now which is which sounds yeah. really fun you used to have like this little delivery bot that I, like you know you would go into outposts you'd be like oh you you can yeah. have him do things for you but now yeah yeah for like a fail success rate but yeah, he, the game but was 2019 by the way 2019 i was way off um but yeah you tell me before i i i would not guess i would like it i'm excited of the terms of a second one but i kind of would have preferred this be kind of a unique thing especially with the game how the game ends i would like a um i don't understand how it would continue i mean i can guess uh are we gonna have the same (laughs) baby maybe we don't have bb's i don't know (laughs) I don't know. I don't want to get too spoilery, but no, I know it's been three years, but I mean, go play the game, go play the game. It's, it's the game's fucking weird, but it's fun. I the, enjoyed it. After the all. game is made by Hideo Kojima. It, if you know that, what that means, it you know makes you means. terrified of BTs, man. It's a good, it, it is a good survival horror game. Without what you what thinking what it is. When you get to the snow area, be oh. ready to fucking shit yourself. God, that sucked. Oh my God. Ugh. Oh my god! Um, uh, very quickly, like I said, I've been clicking back and forth from the the business division catalog thing. Um, mm-hmm. the, I didn't even think about this, but they count uh, MLB The Show Twenty Two as a live service game. So that could be the other game that was included mm-hmm. in the launch thing. Uh, it, it could just be MLB The Show Twenty Three. But I just yeah. want to bring that up really quick. Uh, and I will. And I wanted to quickly say this. Um, uh, they have a projected number of SIE live service franchises by year. So for um, 2021, they just have one. 2022, they have three. 2023, they have six. 2024, they have 10. And then fiscal year 2025, they have 12. So by 2025, they'll have a full 12 ongoing um, live service games. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And then they go on to talk about it on expansion. But we're moving back on to... This is another kind of rumor thing. So, a lot of rumors. Alex, this week. a lot of rumors. <laughs> so, Alex, are you sitting down? Uh, I think so. Okay. Brace yourself. Mm. So, this is wild. So, EA is trying to be purchased. Mm-hmm. So, they were talking with Disney, Apple, Amazon. It sounds like they were really trying to sell themselves, like literally, because they were actively uh, going around to try and sell themselves now this gives us more context because one gene park a fantastic writer over on i believe the washington post yes the washington post gave a little bit of insight on the activision blizzard given the context of the ea agreement we have right now they said the reason microsoft uh gene park sorry when microsoft bought activision blizzard this is the competition they were actually worried about outbidding so they were so apparently Disney, Apple, and Amazon were looking to most likely purchase, um, or at least sniffing around the area of Activision Blizzard, and maybe EA got wind of all these purchases and is trying to be bought by someone big to make a lot of money. Alex, this gives us a a bit bigger of a picture now 
that Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard. And he actually brings up um, a Washington Post article that uh, I believe he wrote about um, detailing this is Phil Spencer. So I actually want to uh, read this because this actually gives a little bit more look at the psyche of the deal and the thought process. Whether it's true or not, we don't know. No, none of us know Phil Spencer, but uh, that's for you to decide. So this is uh, when he was asked about the, the the deal with Activision Blizzard. Quote, they have a long history in video games. Nintendo's not going to do anything that, da- and that was in re- reference to Activision Blizzard, sorry. Nintendo's not going to do anything that damages games in the long run because that's the business they're in. Sony is the same way and I trust them. Valve's the same way. When we look at the other big tech company, uh, tech competitors is what he says. For Microsoft, Google has Search and Chrome. Amazon has Shopping. Facebook has Social. All these large-scale consumer businesses. The discussion we've had internally, where those things are important to those other tech companies for how many consumers they reach, gaming can be that for us. So that was kind of the psyche that he was using. He was saying they have they they basically have a business of consumering. Facebook has Social. Amazon has. Um, shopping they wanted a actual large-scale gaming center to actually be like the core the core of gaming yeah. yeah the core of the the actual gaming business now yeah is that the reason who knows were they uh, worried about um the purchasing i 100 percent believe that alex uh it only takes a couple zeros added to sway mm-hmm. activision blizzard one way or the other so that kind of paints the bigger picture of why they I mean, they overpaid, I believe, almost $30 a share at the time of purchase because I, I believe they're paying about, was it 95 a share or something like that? They're paying they're paying well over the, the allotted share at closing of when they were purchasing them. So they are overbuying them, essentially conf- making sure that Disney, Apple, Amazon look at the price and go, oh, well, we're not, oh, we're not outbidding that. So mm-hmm. Alex, with the kind of bigger picture that we have now, uh, trying to make sure that Disney, Apple, Amazon don't have a huge piece of the pie in the industry. What do you think of any of this story? We have a lot to digest. We have EA looking for a sweet purchase deal while the getting is getting good. We have Microsoft basically going out there and saying like, hey, this is who we were worried about outbidding and we wanted to be the big gaming company. We don't want uh, the other three kind of involved in this business. What do you think? Hmm. I'm wondering if EA is looking for a target. Like I was like, hey, we like in the like inside they're probably like, well, we kind of want to be bought by them, but they haven't done anything. So I'm yeah, so they, I'm wondering if they have like a focus. Like, oh, I was, like it's it's kind of like Shark Tank, you know? You, <laughs> the, the people, yes. People kind of go in to look. They want a certain shark, but let's see who offers. Yeah, that that is the strange thing about going around and saying um. Hey, like, do you want to buy me? Yeah. Like, what a weird way of uh of trying to go about it. Now, apparently they were actually set to merge with um NBC Universal. But it just didn't go through. It actually fell apart a few months ago. Um and Alex, I I don't even know really what to make of this story. It's so strange because this it's so layered. We have EA yeah. trying to be bought. They almost were. They almost merged with NBC Universal. And again, I want to say from an EA uh, standpoint, the they're just they're trying. They see the inflated numbers. They're trying to they're trying to be bought before the mm. almost guaranteed at this point recession happens and dollar value goes a lot down. Interest rates, blah blah blah. All, you know, boring economic stuff. Before all that goes away, they they want to get what are getting good. The getting good's about to end probably, so they're trying to get purchased before that ends. Who do you think would do it? Who do I think would do it? Now Amazon. See what the problem is. Everyone has been so, for lack of a better word, flaky about purchasing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I bring up Amazon because they just don't really seem interested they did the luna thing they have a few studios they don't seem hardcore into this uh scene now buying ea would ensure passive hardcore um 
uh, stay in the industry, I guess, um, uh, to kind of clean up that sentence a bit. Uh, buying EA makes them have a passive entry point to the industry, meaning they will now purchase a giant entity that can essentially run things themselves. And Amazon won't really have to do too much to kind of dictate them. They, they'll they make their Maddens. They'll make their... um. I don't know if they'll ever make an NBA live again, but if they do, they'll make an NBA live or whatever. They'll make their uh, new FIFA game. They'll make the Need for Speed 20,000th game. And they won't really have to worry about that. So I wouldn't be shocked if Amazon goes for it. Disney, Disney just buys anything. I, I, could, I, I wouldn't be shocked. They just buy things. It seems to buy things at this point. Apple, honestly, there were murmurs that Apple would have bought Sony a long time ago. That never happened. I don't know. Is Apple, does Apple even care about buying people at this point? I don't know. Uh, Apparently, they have been trying to get into games. They just haven't. I've heard a couple Apple insider people kind of discussing. Mm-hmm. Like, they tried to look into buying some people, and they just they never figured out how to... Uh, not how to do it, but they never kind of found the perfect point. Just they never continued with it. And then Disney, let's not forget, had a gaming kind of venture. It was called Disney Infinity and didn't work out well for them. So maybe they're turned off by that. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if Disney's like, hey, you know, we kind of tried the gaming thing. We kind of sucked at it. So we don't really want to do that. Um, they have a whole division working on like side projects that they don't have to make their own studios. So they just got out of owning another studio. I don't, I don't see them going back into trying to make that thing again because now they just have Lucasfilms like just selling out their IP to devs. I say keep it that way. It's way less risk for you. You offset all the risk and uh, planning to other people. If it sucks, doesn't matter to you. You got your cut already. Mm. Um, so. If I had to guess, I think Amazon's the most serious about this. I would see Amazon buying it before anyone else. But we're talking about entities with so much money, it doesn't none of the money matters. So it so mm-hmm. like if they buy it, they just won't care. You know, it's almost like a uh, Microsoft when they bought Bethesda, they made that yep. money back in the same quarter. Yeah, almost instantly. The yeah. same quarter. In the same four months, they made back $10 billion or something like that. So, like, it's just, we're talking about entities that have so much money, it's hard to even fathom buying power. So, really, it could come to any of these three. If I think Amazon's in the strongest position because they have Luna because they're working on their uh, IP yeah. that they're working on. Disney and Apple, if they do purchase this, this guarantees them a stake in the industry. And, and again, I want to reiterate, a passive stake that they don't necessarily have to get super involved. And let's just be honest, fuck things up. Because it's very rare that a big company that is not involved in video games buys something and just it all works out well. So, I think I've talked enough on it. I, I mean... That just gives us better context on how this Activision Blizzard thing kind of yeah. happened to begin with. They, they, yeah. they kind of wanted to block out these other tech companies into getting in there. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, we thought we talked about it before that um, Xbox is still stuck with the Activision Blizzard situation, so they did. They're not even going to touch it right now. They can't. Yeah, they they yeah. can't. Because if they weren't in that situation, I feel like they would have done it. Yeah, yeah, but in that world, they aren't buying Activision Blizzard, and if they had to pick between the two, they buy Activision Blizzard every time. So yeah. Yes, but you know that's a very weird world that we'd have to kind of like guess on. But yeah, I would agree they they jump on it, but they can't. They can't for a long time. They can't buy anything for a long time. They could probably buy smaller studios. Um, I wouldn't actually be be shocked if they actually buy the AT and T split that we keep hearing about. That AT and T just keeps wanting to sell the gaming divisions. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be shocked if they are able to buy that. They can kind of sneak that in as some sort of merger deal or something like that. Um, uh, merger deal is the wrong word, but. They could, I think they could kind of work that around so the SEC isn't super um, against what that would happen. Now, they do have a bunch of eyes on them because this deal is in the works. I wouldn't be shocked if they kind of, their hands off for two years until this is fully done with. Yeah. Uh, This is a last room roundup for, for this week. Uh, Jeff Grubb stated that we should be getting PSVR 2 new soon. It was very, very quick. It, it was it was kind of just say, yeah, we should be getting new soon. So, 
I wouldn't be shocked if we get a showcase very soon. Actually, um, I'm it's actually. With, looks like. That's it. No, I, I, I uh, well, we we know what it looks like. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. but uh, I don't, I, I don't think. Uh, I think it's pretty safe to say. Yeah, I think we'll see PSVR too soon. Um, I'm sure he has much more concrete details than I do, but uh, I wouldn't be shocked if we get something in the next two months that kind of shows us the games. We get more information on how the um progression from vr1 to vr2 is we'll get assuming it's confirma- one cable. <laughs> yes it's one cable uh we'll get the confirmation that um uh it's backwards compatible which we still don't know but i can't imagine it's not if it isn't jesus but it, it is i, I i'm 100 i'm 100 percent certain that it, it is um it could be backwards compatible with your vr1 mm-hmm. games remember it doesn't require the new camera they came out with yeah yeah it's good I'm glad. Why are you upset about that? Because what's the point of them making... They're wasting their money on that camera. No. First off, I don't care if they waste their money. Second, um, the camera was... They said it was for recording yourself for streaming. That's what it was for. It was a cheap camera to record yourself. I guess so. I don't know who thought... Maybe you did, but if you thought that was going to be for VR, I mean, why? They didn't say it was. And um, they uh, they're not using the tech for VR anymore with the like the light bulb things to know where you are, and yep. and that, like, that that was so old. So um, thank God they're not using the camera because that no, would yeah. be terrible. Jesus, yeah. it just has the uh, I forget what it's called, but it's basically a sensor that tells mm-hmm. the thing wh- where which way you're looking. Yeah, it's kind of like what the Vive uses. Uh, but yeah, we'll get VR two uh, news soon. I'm excited. I want to know how much this costs. Please, for the love of God, just tell me. Mm-hmm. It's four hundred dollars. We all know it is. Just, just tell us. So rip the bandaid off quickly, and tell us when it's launching. Alex, you had to guess. Mm. When does this thing launch? Holiday. Whoa! Very soon. Yeah, I, th- I think holiday. Okay, so that means they have to within the next month or two not only tell us about it and, but also. Uh, this thing is going to be hitting production soon. Uh, by August, they would probably have to hit production for holiday. So you think all that will happen in the next... I, I don't think that's impossible. First off, it sounds yeah. like I'm saying you're crazy. I, I don't think you're crazy. <laughs> I just don't think... I, I don't know. You probably want to release this in holiday season. I could see this releasing early next year, but you miss holiday which is Mm-mm. almost unacceptable for things like this. But can they really sit on this for another year? They could if they wanted to. I don't mm. know. I think you'd be in a better, a better position to wait till the holiday of next year. But mm. I did say we may be facing a economic recession, so you might want to get this out as fast as possible while people still have money. Who knows? Uh, I don't know what to think, actually. I, I, I think I might agree with you that it could be holiday. I think it could be. I don't think it will be, but... I don't know. They have to do it during a holiday time, I feel like. Mm-hmm. They can't just release it and be like, hey, in April, we're going to release this new hardware. I feel yeah. like it's just a weird time to do that. They can't pull a switch. They could. Sorry. They could. Eh, if it's super limited, they could. Because mm. they, they might not have to even worry about selling them. Cause they well, might, because maybe I feel they... like the Switch could... I think the Switch was able to do it because it was well, the next big Nintendo well, thing. Well, and yeah, yeah. first off, I 100% agree. The Switch was the Switch. It could do whatever it wanted. It could have yeah. rele- released Sunday at... Whatever the hell it wanted. It could have released Sunday at 4 a.m. Eastern, and everyone still would have bought it. Yeah. So, like, let's make, yeah, that, let's the, make sure everyone understands that. It's not, an, it's not like a console, you know? It's, it's just... It's, it's an just an, it's, it's, Yeah, it's an accessory... So, uh, yeah, I, th- I think they would. I'll probably, I'll, I could see Holiday. I could for sure. That just means a lot of stuff goes into effect in the next few months. But that's not, impo- that's not impossible to imagine. I'm curious to hear if um, they have the units lined up. Like, by now they're getting the, if, if it launches Holiday, by now they're getting uh, quotes on how many units they can expect. First mm. off, um, does this use any sort of limited software or sorry limited hardware that's currently in back order because everything's trying to be built right now if it does you're hitting a huge inventory crisis so that's things that won't be answered until we know a little bit more um i will say check out 
excuse me, and check out Moore's Law is Dead. Um, he might have some more details on that soon, because uh, I know he's, oh, excuse me, I got the burps, because um, I know he's heavily into the hardware side of the industry, so he might know a little bit more. Alex. Hmm. About an hour into the show, we finally hit the news for the show. So this is the news. A lot of rumors, man. Yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot. I kind of condensed in there for you. A couple not rumors, but by nature they're rumors. So you know, I kind of want to put them in the rumors. You know. Anyways, here's the news for the show. Windows Central brings in a breaking story for the show literally 30 minutes before we went live. So this was literally. At the at the finishing line, right before I cross it for the show, we get this, and I'm like, okay, hold on, I gotta put put a whole new thing together now. So, before we went live, a story broke about the long talked about and discussed Xbox streaming stick. If you remember, it all started with Project Hobart, um, now called Keystone, appearing on an Xbox um, OS list. That's operating system. So, like, it, it came up on, there, um, on like a giant list, and people were freaking out. Windows mm. Windows Central um, confirms that this is. Uh, uh, true, this project is an HDMI stream- streaming device that runs Xbox Game Pass and its cloud software. Uh, not only do we get a confirmation from Windows Central themselves, but we get Microsoft spokesperson calling it out by name. And here's the quote. Quote, our vision for the Xbox Cloud Gaming is unwavering. Our goal is to enable people to play the games they want, on the devices they want, anywhere they want. As announced last year, we've been working on a game streaming device codenamed Keystone. That could be connected to any TV or monitor without the need for a console. End quote. Uh, the quote goes on a little bit more, but that was kind of the most important thing I want to grab there. Um, that is everything we do know presently. We don't know exact pricing or date. All that is up for speculation, which, Alex, is what we're going to do right now. Mm. Now, this thing has been talked about literally for, I want to say, four years now. I want to, I remember Phil Spencer's talking about this very casually a couple years ago, saying, yeah, we're working on a streaming stick. We're going to get it out soon. When is this thing finally going to come out? If they're talking about it now, it's still a project. Like, I would have said it. I remember having um, our show. I want to say talk about it in 2020, 2021-ish time. I remember us talking about it and me going like, yeah, we'll probably see it in the next year or two. We still have not seen this thing. No offense. Um, the streaming stick shouldn't be labor intensive. Now, maybe they're having some sort of... In, uh, inventory issue with uh, all these things on back order so maybe that's the issue maybe they just haven't ironed out how this thing's gonna work um if i remember correctly they ran into some contract issues with um getting this thing to launch because they had to basically revisit a lot of game pass deals to iron out like hey uh now we're adding the streaming six so now we have to revise a bunch of deals i think might have been an issue that someone brought up who knows if that's true or not um but alex what do you it's coming the the, the it's, answer it's is coming. price and issue do you do you have anything to add on to this the story is kind of flat there's not too much to add on to it for at least uh my issue we can speculate on anything yep. with data prices but uh what do you think on the overall thing of the streaming stick um i mean i don't think it'll be that expensive i feel like it's maybe like 50 60 bucks I think we. I think it'd be anywhere between sixty and a hundred dollars. Yeah, I, I mean, as I, I feel like it'll be as much as uh, oh, a Fire Stick or as much as a Roku let's, device. I mean, let's see, Fire Stick. Fire Sticks were before like forty dollars. I think they're like cheaper now. Uh, um, uh, forty-five dollars for a Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Okay, so. So I, I I could see I could see it for like fifty sixty bucks. Um, I mean I'd be surprised if it's cheaper. Because I mean technically this is literally just for X. I had like like Amazon sticks and Roku sticks do everything like like streaming wise like YouTube like, like this is just for Xbox. I mean I'm it's great. I, I mean I wonder if it would be thirty bucks. Let's break it down, right? A Fire TV stick, right? Okay. I've never seen it open. Maybe I'll look that up real quick. But w- okay. what is it? It's probably a internet connector, something to okay. connect to the internet, and a small yep. processor that runs the menu. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Yeah. It doesn't have to run yeah. anything because it's running off of your Wi-Fi system. So mm-hmm. that's probably why it can be so cheap now. 
do you need something bigger? Because this is going to be running Game Pass. Do you need something to offset the potential uh, lo loading that's going to be going natively through the cloud? Maybe not because the cloud system is so good. Maybe you need to offset something to make it run smoother because you're working at such a, a varied network uh, systems across the, the U.S. I I'm not really sure, but this thing could be pretty cheap. The the Chromecast with Google Stadia, a Google Chromecast is thirty bucks. That's a good point, Alex. But I found something similar. Okay, Google, stop. <laughs> Do you know how many people's uh, Google stuff that you just started? <laughs> yeah. All right, people. <laughs> I, I, right, I completely Alex. forgot. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> okay, yeah, that one's thirty bucks, and a uh, the Chromecast with the Google TV is fifty, and it comes with a little remote. So I mean, like, see, I, it it has to be fifty or less. That now, I like, I uh, if it's if, any more, there's something in it that's helping. There's something in it, yeah, that's helping. It's, it's a hardware like help. But you, you never hmm. tried Stadia on your TV, right? No, not my, not on my TV. I tried it on it, on the browser. I'm curious how it feels with just just that running everything. Mm -hmm. But again, if, if if it's just Game Pass and if it's just running off the cloud, it's solely spent on your internet speed. So basically, everything inside that is like a glorified processor for the menu. Being able to uh, some some sort of Bluetooth that's connected to a um, controller. And maybe some, yeah, maybe some sort of small yeah. processor that runs the menus, and that's everything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you, I mean, it could be even cheaper. Could, it might not even, I, I, it's probably crazy to say even 100 bucks. It might be way, it's probably way less than that. It might be closer to like 60, 80 bucks, maybe even 50. I mean, honestly, I feel like the most, it'll, the most 60. Wow. Yeah, I feel like. Because of course, if it's not just, with a controller. Of course, yeah. If it doesn't come with a controller, like I think with it, what was it? M, uh, was it? Dude, was it Google Stadia, the one with the controller that you can pre-order it, and it came with a controller, yeah. right? It was yeah, like you the founder you, bundle that came with, I think, a three month and yeah. a controller, and and it was a hundred bucks, I think. Yeah, and see that, and that came with the subscription, like, like people who, like people already have Xbox Live. Really quick, really oh, quick, yes. everyone, everyone, everyone. Y'all remember Stadia? Me either. Uh, keep going. Damn it, we're 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 dogging on you, all right? <laughs> I forgot. I keep forgetting. Yeah, he's a big Stadia guy. He fucking loves Stadia. No, I know. <laughs> Emmett, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I hey, we all have that thing that we liked and it just disappeared. Hey, hey, hey. Comment us at the comments, I'm in, all right? <laughs> keep going. Um, but yeah, no, I just now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> you can't um, shit on Emmett. We forget. No, right? Yeah, no, but like, um, I don't think it's gonna be more because with the Google Stadia, you needed the subscription and you're paying for the controller. I'm a, maybe there'll be a bundle with the hardware, but I don't, even then, people who are buying this already have a controller, so I'm assuming, uh, there won't be, be any a, bundle, and no, you won't no, need a subscription. No. I mean, I think there will be. What? How perfect of a bundle? Controller thing, three months of Xbox yeah. Glo Game Pass Ultimate. Boom. Yep. A hundred and twenty bucks. Yeah, with the yeah hardware controller and a three month, yeah, hundred and twenty bucks, yeah, perfect. Gets people in the doors, nice and cheap. Congrats. Yeah. I don't. Um, yeah, hmm. I, I, I see. I honestly, I, I'm, I'm done trying to guess when this thing comes out. I would have said this. No, no <laughs> offense. Maybe I'm ignorant on this, but like, is it like i would have said like how easy is this thing to make like like there's a million of all the steam i would have said this thing was already out it isn't so i'm missing something in this puzzle um of of this xbox streaming stick xbox keystone or whatever okay so i'm done kind of trying to guess when this thing's gonna come out hopefully it comes out sooner rather than later because i know a lot of people that will just never buy a system but this is something that they could have to play their game pass games on or whatever yeah it's weird because i i honestly thought it would come out before during when the pandemic was high and there was less systems out and like you'd be like oh well we don't have any systems but this is an alternative to help you so now i don't know alex i, I actually didn't have this in the stories but something kind of jogged my memory i wanted to quickly bring up just in case people wanted to hear about it Okay. Um, over the week, there was like some drama with Game Pass and things of that nature. So there were some people that like, 
<laughs> um, that announced that they were leaving Xbox Game Pass. And by people, I mean like uh, influencers and things. Influencers is a strong word. I guess games journalists slash inf- influencer people. There was a few people that that stayed on this. Um, I, I, I didn't bring it in the story because I think it was relevant. I wanted to quickly just bring it up just in case someone is listening to this wanting to hear about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't care. I I don't know why a bunch of people made a big deal about it. Um, a lot of people were like dogging on them, saying like, "Why are you know, like they were like talking shit about Game Pass and stuff." I'm like, "Why do you care if they don't like it?" Uh, so I don't really have anything to say about it, Alex. I know you're not on the internet as much, and you probably didn't even know this happened. But mm-hmm. um, it was just a couple people just and now for, first off it's kind of weird that you announced that you're leaving something like it's some sort of formal like, like you like you're announced you're getting a divorce with your wife or something I, it was just first off it, everything was weird it was weird that they were announcing it it was weird it was weird that people got mad and it's weird that people reacted to the people getting mad all everything it, all of it was weird i, I didn't like just all attention yeah that's probably what it was they just wanted attention right which is but it, hey it, which is I mean, what we all want, right? So, yeah. But I want to quickly bring it up just in case someone really wanted to hear someone talk. About it. Moving on. Some shocking news sticking with Microsoft. A couple of days ago, something very peculiar was, uh, was mentioned. So, back in 2014, so let's all picture 2014 Xbox. It's actually I had pitched. A big DVR. Cool. Yeah, yes. Yeah. We have Xbox One OG. Sounds like a jet engine <laughs> taking off every time you go. You're worried that it. You're worried that your cat and or dog, with the slightest touch of walking by, will fucking turn your entire system off. Just blink, like just a, a little tail, just slightly touching and turns it off. So annoying. Who thought that was a good deal? Who? Anyways, so we're back in 2014. Marvel executive John Ong was shopping around their IP to various studios, starting with PlayStation and Xbox, stating that they thought they were the two uh, most trustworthy people to kind of get into this um, agreement with. Of course, PlayStation ended up getting Marvel Spider-Man, their biggest IP now. And of course, Spider-Man Miles Morales, uh, that later turns into Spider-Man Miles Morales, and of course, Spider-Man 2 soon soon after but according to um an expert from ultimate history of video games volume 2 by stephen l kent by the way fucking crazy ass name for a book but they said uh microsoft actually denied use of their ip saying they wanted to focus on their own ip alex there's not too much else to bring about this i just wanted to quickly bring up that microsoft had a chance and i have been stating from Basically, the announcement of Spider-Man that I was for sure confident that Xbox also had a Marvel game in development at that time. Uh, clearly, it doesn't. It would have been talked about by now. So it, that was untrue. I was very confident that they had something X-Men game or any of those. Any, just anything, really. And it never happened. Uh, now we know why. Uh, they were offered it and they said no, which... I can't imagine. Uh, I I really I I'll be honest. I can't imagine. I can't imagine saying no to Marvel. I I don't. You have you're given established IP, and on a golden platter, and you just go nah. We're gonna focus on our IP. By the way, 2014 Xbox. By the way, let's all remember 2014 Xbox. Here was I got you. Very rough. In the here. IP department, so here. bullshit that they were focusing on their IP. Uh, let's see. Uh, Go ahead. 2014 uh, here. was, by the way, a terrible year in games, if I remember correctly. The only game that came out that year was like uh, Final Fantasy, Dragon no, Age my, Inquisition. Oh, this is the wrong one. Didn't Witcher let's 3 come? Did Witcher 3 come out? Here we go. Uh, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, January. Uh, we got Thief, February 25th. None of these, by f- the way, none, that, Witcher was 2015, so that was wrong. But, um, by the way, none yes. of those first party. Mm-mm. Keep going. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2, which is... Not I a mean, first party not game. First party. Yep. Anything, Metal, anything first. Ground Zero's, if any First party, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see if I can find first party. 
It shouldn't be anything. I, it, off the top of my head, Gears of War uh, 5 was... Uh, no, sorry. Gears of War 4. <laughs> Gears of War 4 was 20... Yeah, so like they had almost nothing Forza in development. Horizon at that time. Two, September thirtieth. Yeah, they had the Forza Horizon games in development. They had they had the Gears game in development. They had um, Halo of October twenty first. They had Halo Four almost releasing, I believe, the following year. Uh, Sunset Overdrive October oh, no, twenty eighth. That, that already released. I forgot it. Halo lost Master it. Chief Collection November eleventh. Yeah, let's not forget Halo Master Chief Collection. That was 2015 for Halo 5. Yeah, they I mm. mean, they had a couple things for in development, but I can't imagine. This is this is it. a wild thing to come about. Like like you re- like I can't believe they said no. Yeah, they had shocking. nothing that year. They, had, they not only they had nothing that year, in the next 3 4 years they didn't have nothing. They had like a game a year. Mm-hmm. So like what were you focusing on? So clearly that was a nice way of saying no. Now, so what is the reason for the no? I don't know. Maybe it is true. Maybe it was really to focus on their IP in some strange way. 2014 my, uh, Xbox, not great. So maybe they were just such on their back foot that they just had no time to be like, yeah, we'll f- uh, do this Marvel game and figure something out. Maybe the contract was just too stringent to like guarantee a good game or something. I don't know, but just Im- imagine... 2014 Xbox, you just come out of a terrible launch year. Terrible performance all around. You sold almost nothing compared to your um your competitor. And yeah. you and you're like, and a Marvel exec comes up and is like, hey, do you want any of our IP to on a game? And you go, nah. At the same time, <laughs> like, the they, they were working on Halo 5 and they had to completely like change everything. Yeah, and I, like a year later, they, they came probably- 2015. Yeah, so probably, yeah, oh no, yeah. So around that time, they get the news that I think the the writer left like a couple, like in the middle of the year or something like that. So like a couple months later, they had to completely remake a game almost. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I I just wanted to bring that up. That is one of the weirdest things I've read in a long time. I completely believe this man because that just sounds like they that's something they would have done back then. Just completely like what are you doing now to be fair the mcu was not crazy at that point it wasn't this huge thing 2014 um we i looked this up prior didn't avengers come out that year i think it was it was a uh it was captain america winter soldier that was 2014 yes okay and yeah and then it was um guardians of the galaxy that was when that came up when I yep. typed that in at the beginning of the podcast. Um, yes. Yeah, so that that was it. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, it was Cardi the Galaxy, Captain America Winter Soldier, and then the other ones that were, are not part of the MCU. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Wild. Yeah. Wild. Now, they didn't have the 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 insight that the MCU was going to be huge quite yet, but still. Still, mm-hmm. still come on. Oh, okay. Alex, mm. blooper sat down with IGN, gave some insight on how their Blair Witch game came to be. This is kind of a similar situation kind of with Xbox, except in the other way. Blooper CEO uh, Pieter Babignon detailed the deal. (laughs) Quote, Lionsgate came to us and said, guys, guys, we love Layers of Fear. Lionsgate, of course, the popular um, film company, I guess what you'd call them. And we I'm saw kidding, what yeah. you did with the Observer, so we would like to work with you. We know that you would like to do your games, so please, this is our list of horror IPs. Choose one. Uh, Piet, uh, I'm just going to say Peter. P- uh, Pietro. Pietro, Pietro, thank Pietro, you. Pietro, 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 yeah. Pietro. Pietro should be close. Yeah. yeah. Then goes to... Sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Blooper CEO, sorry if you're listening to this podcast. I, uh, I know you're an avid listener. Then goes to say that they could have picked Saw, which is what, which is uh, mm-hmm. a much more popular game than what they went with, which was Blair. Uh, but the reason they went with Blair, uh, according to him, is, quote, uh, there is much more opportunity to do new things there. He later goes on to say, quote, right now, to be honest, we constantly have requests from movie studios or from other licensors to work with them because Blooper Team is in some way recognizable. Unfortunately, for almost a year, we have had to, we've had to say no to almost everything he said pass but you know he had to say no because we don't have capacity to do any more titles at one time end quote hmm. alex this is just a fun thing i wanted to bring up uh i love the idea of lionsgate coming to them and being like 
here any you want to do anything on this uh page and them just going like nah well you know we'll, we'll go with blair witch it's just a cool idea to think like some someone uh, someone came from Lionsgate and said look i got you're approved on whatever you want from this list so that's just a cool idea it's crazy that they went with blair witch of all things but again that that makes the most sense saw was much mm. more popular but blair witch they probably could have done whatever they wanted uh as far as i understand the blair witch game was okay i didn't play it um i think you didn't you play a little bit of it i i wanted to i never did yeah so now of course original saw game now of course as long as rumors are true blooper is doing something with the silent hill games we'll have to see what that's going to mm-hmm. be if any of those rumors are true uh but i wanted to just quickly bring up that was a fun thing alex what do you think of this story uh, it's interesting because i was uh that they were like we can only focus one IP at a time, so I'm assuming they don't have enough no, either not enough a, resources or they don't have enough a, people. They're not a big team. Um, I'm. Let me get their head count. I don't blooper team. Look, I'm not gonna lie. Blair Witch looks terrifying. That definitely looked like a game that was like, ooh, that looks scary. Yeah. Um, let's do head count. See if that comes up. Uh, it you seems it, it seems about a hundred people. Okay. So that's not, yeah, that's not that's not like a crazy amount. That's a lot of people, to be fair. Um, so th- they're they're probably a little over a hundred. Who knows if that's gone up or down? That's a pretty. I think this is a pretty old listing. Let's see. Mm-hmm. What year is this from? Twenty twenty one. So they're probably around the same. If not, or, yeah, they're probably around the same. So over a hundred. I wouldn't be shocked if they have like two two things in development. Um, with a hundred people, you could probably kind of squeeze in a smaller game and your main game at the same time so we'll have to see uh what the blooper team finally comes out it, it's all but confirmed that's i know but anything can happen yeah i mean they did the medium and that was mm. people i heard like thought it was I, I, that was one of those games i heard that you like oh play until you get to this kind of thing yeah um i remember was, it was one of those games where it's like, like i don't want to i don't want to play half the game until it gets good you yeah know? it was one of those games where it's like play play until this point i think it was i think someone said like play until you get until a wheelchair or something like that and and then it gets crazy good and i was like i don't want to i don't know too 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 many other games to be like pl- play this until you get to, to until it gets good it's like I, nah i'm good yeah i'm good a group of QA testers voted to unionize recently over at Raven Software. This is a pretty uh, big deal. So let's catch people up. Activision some time ago let off a large number of their QA workers, prompting many developers speaking out against this move. And in Raven's case, having a huge walkout of their employees to show support. Uh, and this kind of rippled across Activision Blizzard in general. A couple other people did walkouts and things of that nature. So... Since then, what has happened? Well, Activision Blizzard last month did give out nearly 1,100 QA testers full-time status and increased pay. But because of um, uh, robbery laws, and they have already stated that they're going to be using eyes, uh, just to be clear, those twenty, uh, these 28 people that I'm about to mention did not get this deal. Because you cannot raise anything once you have agreed to unionize. That is uh, considered, uh, uh, I believe, bribery. So you, you can't offer, basically, things once they unionize. Once they have begun to talk about unionize, it like becomes illegal to mess with them. Back to the story. Uh, uh, this one in a landslide. Uh, uh, it was 19-4 and 3 against. And I believe about 3 votes uh, had to be challenged. I don't know. I couldn't find the reason they were, but they were challenged and removed. Um, uh, and, and it was about 20 employees who were eligible to vote. So almost all of them voted. Um, and this marks the first AAA developer to unionize in North America. Now, there are allegations currently that Activist Blizzard was trying to actively persuade them to not vote or vote no in the allegation uh, in the election, allegedly having town hall meetings, emails, and outright saying this may impact their pay and promotions. So I believe a couple of those things might be illegal. Who knows? Yeah. I'm not one of the ones to say if it is or not. But uh, I know that as of recording, they are uh, they are going to... Um, file a complaint with the basically union board of america to do something i don't know if that will uh have anything happen uh i'm going to now recommend like a third person to listen to in this podcast um 
more uh hoglaw hoglaw is great with actual law so if you want to know more about that story check out his channel i'm sure he has something up i haven't checked him out yet so i don't know if he has something about this specific story but i would be shocked if he doesn't so go check him out if you want to know the specifics of the laws here we're just i just want to bring it up to let everyone know alex do you have anything to add to the story no, I just think it's crazy that, that there's still stuff going on here. Yes, yeah, still, still, yeah. And, and Microsoft uh, still, still like, yeah, we'll buy you. <laughs> all this happening, all this we'll bad press. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. We'll fix all it. this bad press that they now have to deal with. Now they have to deal with a union, and they're gonna buy all this. Call of Duty must Go be ahead. really worth it. I would, I would, I would agree. <laughs> I would agree. <laughs> You're basically buying another Halo. So yeah, I get yeah. it. After you fucked up the other one. <clears throat> Marvel mm -hmm. MMO from the Matrix Online devs have been canceled. This is coming from Daybreak themselves. So Daybreak Games was actually working on a Marvel MMO. And has now canceled the project. This was kind of like in a... Uh, investor type uh, talks. It was kind of weird how it was announced. So the announcement states that... quote Development risk, size of investment, and long-term product portfolio... Uh, was listed for reasons of canceling the project. They reviewed uh, the company also said that they plan to invest around a fifty million dollars into the title for the next three years. Alex, this is uh, this is an MMO that's been canceled. I'm curious if this if this is any sort of indicator that the uh, MMO games as a service space is getting so inflated and um diluted that companies are just starting to be like no we can't with this anymore yeah like we have it's to get just out too of many, here it's just too many there's it's like too much. They just, it's just gonna get it's just gonna drown and everything else like like who you don't want to be another anthem you don't want to be another hyperscape you don't want to be another x y i mean i could probably name 10 more like you mm. just at some point people have to go like all right it's over like we we, yep. we it's, it's done. Like let's focus on hybrid titles or let's focus on co-op yeah. games. If let's anything, I'm glad they, they did it now than later in develop later in the stages. If if this tells you a lot, I, I think uh, they were going to invest fifty million dollars, not a little bit amount of money, but not that's like a dime in a fucking bucket in the games industry. Mm -hmm. Like fifty million. Oh, yeah. 50 million doesn't do shit in, in, yeah. in like big games. So if 50 million was scaring them off, I'm actually a little bit like, okay, you probably shouldn't have been making this fucking game. If it's an MMO game and 50 million's like, like, uh, like over your head, like, you know, we maybe should probably give this to someone else. So we'll have to yeah. see, we'll have to see some, some other stuff. So that, that's crazy. Wanted to bring that up. Sad to see, but also, like I said, maybe I, I kind of agree with Alex here. Maybe it's a good thing that this is canceled. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. If if uh, if you're scared off now, it might not have been a good game. Yeah, I mean, think about it like this. I mean, uh, God of War 2018 costs around 200 million. Yeah. So 50 million. It's nothing. It's a yeah. I mean, it's a quarter of it's it. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. That it's gets wild. that 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 probably pays for like one twenty fifth of God of War. <laughs> like God of War three. From PS3, that was forty-four million. Yeah, and that was a so, long time ago. So that, that yeah, was that's the, the that's what that budget will give you. Yeah, and then and yeah, and you know, inflation, et cetera, et cetera. No, yeah, for sure. Alex, mm. that's the news for the week. Now we're going into date updates. It's pretty small for this week. Mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings Gollum, Alex's most anticipated title of oh, 2022, <laughs> launches September 1st on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series S, X, and PC. And it will launch later in 2022 on Nintendo Switch. Alex, I gotta admit, I, I, I don't know why you're so excited for this game. Are you, why are you so excited to play Gollum? Because I couldn't do it in Shadow of, the, <laughs> in Shadow of Mordor. That makes sense. That makes sense. I followed him, but I didn't get to play as him. That's true. Uh, joking <laughs> aside, I how i can't imagine this being no good. man i can't imagine no, I, this being good i, I it, just can't every, t every time i look at this game it makes me think of the game sticks if you remember what i'm talking about mm -mm, no no um it's a here it's an old um stealth type game and you had uh <laughs> god what, 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 what was i don't know what i was expecting i just typed in sticks <laughs> and I, have pictures, I have pictures of sticks now S T S T Y X. It's um, it's a stealth game. 
um, that was made by oh, yeah. S- yeah, yeah, Studios. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. looks like a Goblin Man. Yeah, a I've Goblin. Seen, Thank you. I've I could think of. Yeah. So th- every time I think I look at Gollum, it makes me think that Gollum is going to be a stealth game like this. It is. I think that's what they said. And I mean, I've tried. I mean, you're not going to fight people. A long time ago. You're not going to fight people. Gollum, uh, not known for his strength. So, no, uh, yeah, it's pretty much all saw stealth. So I don't know. I mean, and if I you remember, if it's- um, there was the uh, kind of like CGI trailer that seemed to try and like tell you what the game is gonna play like, and he had mm-hmm. traps like around. So I mm-hmm. assume you're pulling traps and shit. I don't know. My thing is that like I'll kind of be interested less. if it, I will be interested if maybe it, it's before he meets. Everybody, it you know, it's kind of, yeah, so like I kind of want to see him. I want to see Smeagol start turning into Gollum. I don't think he starts turning, I think he already is, though. It is already is, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this game. I'll have I, to watch I could it. care less. I was trying to see if I could find when it takes place. Let's see. Screen Rant has the story. It is. Has found an ideal place. Since uh, since Gollum is small, fragile, he cannot overpower his foes. It's third person stealth game. We all know that. So he has he uses tools. We uh, okay. We have the story that we all know from the books, but everything that appears to him before he happens. Give Gollum's life covers more than five hundred years. Uh, yeah. So he it's at some point in that five hundred year span of when we see him. Okay. Yeah, because it says it will be you'll be able to sneak and climb your way through locations such as Mirkwood, Sirith Ungol, and Barad-dûr. Oh, okay. Tower. Here we go. According to a Steam page, quote: "From his time as a slave below the Dark Tower to his stay with the Elves of Mirkwood." Yeah, because this is yeah. And um, the gameplay sounds kind of interesting because it says Gollum's dual game. personality will also come into play as we make they make decisions throughout the adventure. Oh my god, with Jesus. each side offering a different kind of approach. Lord of the Rings is crazy. So so listen to this. The Return okay. of the Kings Appendix B details the timeline of the Lord of the Rings universe. It specifies Gollum is captured by Sauron in Mordor, quote, at some time, end quote, in the eight years following 3009. He is released in 3017, at which point Aragorn captures him in the Dead Marches and brings him to Mirkwood. It's possible that the Lord of the Rings Gollum will feature scenes from other points in Gollum's lives, but if the bulk of the story does take place between his capture in Mordor and his time as Mirkwood, Daedalic has a potential eight years of timelines to work with. Hmm. Cool. Interesting. Any, anyways. Yeah, I don't know. Bigger news story. Modern Warfare 2 has a date. October mm-hmm. 28th, 2022. Everyone clear out Everyone swear, cleared out now. I swear, if they don't have the intervention, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> did you see the picture for this? I did. So and I, did you see the picture of each person? I did not. There's a new thing. So yeah, there's a picture of each character. Uh, I'm assuming each one. There's Ghost, McTavish, Captain Price. Yeah, if you remember, at the end of the first one, we got the dossiers of, everybody. of all of them. Yeah. yeah. This one, yeah. Let me see. Or- to 2022 i guess <laughs> model over 2022 that's a yeah. weird name yeah it definitely is. but yeah it shows a pic I, I, like yeah i saw it's like the, the ghost one that we see but like it was a um, i think it's hot on instagram or twitter and it, if you scroll you see the pictures of each one like it's kind of like a cover oh, oh was it on their twitter maybe let me check uh i'll check instagram just in case yeah, you check it because I'm. I, I kind of want to see this. I um. I don't know too much about. Um. I'm excited that I don't know too much about the game, mm-hmm. so I'm curious. Do it. Uh, who do you remember? Who made? Who's making this one? Is it, is it, uh, is it still Infinity uh, One? Uh, let me see. I get so confused with these. Should still be Infinity War. I'm also a publisher, right? Yeah, I'm assuming it's no, Infinity Dev. War. Dev, sorry. Yeah, it's Infinity Word. Okay. Here we go. I see it. Yeah. So team okay. leader Captain John Price, uh, Sergeant Soap McTavish, season mm-hmm. uh, Kyle Gaz Gavrick, and oh, Alejandro guess, yeah. Vargas. Yep, I see them all right here. Yep, there's yep. Soap oh, with his mohawk. Yep, John Soap. Nice. Soap. 
Yeah, I'm excited. Seb. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Yeah, same. Task Force 141. Oh, is this the cover? It looks, it's Ghost with his uh, with with uh, him pointing down. I wonder if that's the cover. Hmm. And with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on the title. Gotcha. Oh no, you know what? It's probably the pin tweet. That's probably the. It's just Ghost with with the thing on his face. Hopefully, mm. Ghost will die cooler in this one. Uh, instead of like a bitch in the other game. Yeah. I wonder if people were so upset that he might not die at all. <laughs> I doubt that. All these efforts are dying. Moving on. Euden Chronicles 100. Except for Soap. Soap never died. Yes, in the original, did. at least. In the original? Yeah. I don't remember. He kind of died like whatever, too. Yeah, yeah he, remember, remember he falls that. and he like. Or was it Modern Warfare 3? Because Mc... Soap oh, or McTavish was in yeah. Modern Warfare 3. Yeah. Well, he's in all of them. No, I I know, but I meant like like I thought I thought you meant like in Modern Warfare Two he died. I thought no, I was like, no, wait, no, he was in the li- yeah. In the third one, he dies. Yep, Soap dies in the third one, and um, and it, basically Price is the only one left. It's Price and his buddy, and I think he even dies in that one. And Price, oh, it, it is. It's left ambiguous if Price dies at the end. I think he does. Um, yeah, he yeah, he gets killed being caught in an explosion with Yuri and falling from a high distance while trying to assassinate and they, and Makarov. They, yeah, and they carry him out, and he's yeah, yeah. That's been that long that I played M- MW3. Even in Chronicles, Hundred Heroes is coming to Switch now. Technically, this was detailed as a next gen Nintendo Switch game. I think um because they they probably had uh they probably thought that the next game or the next Switch would have been out by the time they were done. Um, mm-hmm. But they just said they're coming to Switch. Now, it's not out of the uh, possibility that Eon and Chronicles 100 Heroes comes out with the new Switch by the time this comes out. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't believe they've said concrete a date yet. Let me double check on that. I don't want to be wrong. I, mean, I know, you did I know a when they, rising. I know they, yes, uh, yeah, 2023, yeah. They're just coming out. They just said 2023. Um, because uh, they already had like a couple things worked out of the game, so mm-hmm. it's supposed to come out relatively early comparatively. So we might we might have a switch uh, two by then. So hmm. maybe it'll still come out for that title. Yeah. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All Star Battle R launches September second, twenty twenty two. Cool. All those JoJo fans I know out there enjoy that. Out. Mm. That's the news for the week. Now, of course, we end the show just like we begin it with one single question that I ask Alex. Uh, of course, is what do you have queued up for the week? Now, that, of course, could be a game, a comic book, a book, TV show. Maybe there's a specific podcast you've been wanting to listen to. Whatever it is, I want to know. What are you going into the weekend with play? Now, this isn't only for mm. Alex. It's for you at home. If you have something that you are burning to get to or you just want to talk to us about something, remember... We talk to everyone in the comments below for free. There's nothing you have to do for that. You just leave a comment below. We will answer it, whatever it is. And if you want to talk to us directly and get onto the show, patreon.com slash you cheers and use those DM services there. Thank you so much for listening to this week's episode. Alex, what do you have queued up for the week? I have two games I want to try that I picked up. And they're, um, one's called Absolvo. It's a horror type a uh, game that's based in, of North mythology. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And um I was watching I was trying to listen to like a review and be like, "Oh, well, you know what's this game type about?" And some uh, some people are like, "It's not it's m- less of a psychological horror game, but more like of the horror of of BioShock 1. You remember like, kind of that yeah. feel? It's kind of like it gives you that more feel, a more dead spacey feel like instead of psychological where like you know things are fucking with you and things like that. Yeah, it's very So right. it, but it's like really based on, you know, there, it's really heavy on the Norse mythology and I was just like, oh, it's like this sounds pretty cool and apparently it's one it's one of those games where like you look at you look at it and you're going you would go in like with really low expectations, but you come out really like in this game and mm. that's what I've heard from every person that's played it. And I'm like, I really want to try this game. So now the so, opposite will happen to you. You'll have high expectations, and you will be disappointed. That's what I'm worried. <laughs> that's what I'm worried about. So that's why I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah. Um. And then the other one is the Strangers of Paradise, the Final Fantasy game. I want to. I want to give that a shot. Let me know. I I am curious if you yeah. like that or not. It is uh, it definitely does not seem, at least on the outside, like an Alex game. Mm-hmm. So let me know if you enjoy it. I'll that's be very. Cool. Yeah. I'll be very shocked if you do. Yep. But other than that, I'm just working on more Platinums. Um, I started Man Eater on the PlayStation so I can start so I can get that. I love that game. 
uh, working on the Apex Platinum. Just just because I have nothing on the Xbox right now. Like I was like, you know, I would s- switch over, get some Platinums, and then started Ozark, finished Season 1. About to start Season 2 today. Really good show. It's very good. And, and people, uh, Achievers, if you have any recommendation on shows, get, put them down below. I'm a very show guy, so I want to see all these shows. What about you? My weekend, pretty light on the surface. I okay. want to play more Destiny 2. I need to go, you know, grind through the season pass. All that mm-hmm. stuff. Play the new stuff. Uh, like I said, Dungeon Tomorrow, I'm very excited about. Um, aside from that, I want to finish Ozarks. I have two episodes left. I've really been babysitting these two because I just don't want it <laughs> to end. But I have to, I have to cut the, I have, I have to end this show. Just, so. Yeah, yeah. You got to cut gotta, it loose, man, and just, just finish it. I just need to end it. So I'm going to yeah. do that. I'm going to finish those two shows. I'm going to, um, hopefully by next week, finish Fire Emblem Awakening. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much I have left. I've never beaten it before. So I, I don't, I don't, I think I'm about halfway through the game, if not close to two thirds. I hope I can get it done by next week, um, just because I want it to be done. And uh, other than that, no future plans. Honestly, uh, it's pretty light. I want to finish that show. Yeah. There might be something yeah, that's else. What I said, I, like I'm just backlogging right now, man. Yeah, there might be something else I watch. Uh, yeah. Aside from that, I, yeah, it's kind of chill. I, I like I, uh, I was um, uh, talking with someone I don't remember who, but, I, but this is um. This is a, a relaxing time. I, I, I think I like that I don't have something I need to get to. Like, it's, it's chill. Like, yeah, no, I, same. Like, I'm, I can was, just watch a movie that I've been trying to do. So that, this is a, that's how I'll be spending my time. I was like, the other night, I was like, oh, should I play some more Neo? That game is long, man. Too, um, is it too uh, long? One of I don't know. Where it's like, eh, this should have ended by now. I'm probably not giving it enough time, but like I thought I have. I, I wish there was like a counter telling you how many hours I have to I have to check, but like I'm on the third region for achievers who know where I'm at. Um, but I like trophy wise, I'm only like ten percent in. It's one of those. It's one. I mean, it's, it's but it seems like probably has a hard It seems like. Yeah. Well, it seems I don't I I yeah I just don't know. Well, I just feel you like, know some of those games and with achievements like you'll beat the game but only have like twenty percent, yeah. and all the trophies are. Just a shit ton of side stuff. No, yeah, that's the thing. But I thought about doing that, and then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna chill, watch a movie, and I just went and watched Interstellar. Such a fantastic movie. <sighs> I Listen might watch it music. again. I haven't watched it in like in, a, in like since it came out, and I was like, I think that this will be my second or third time watching it. And I was like, dude, it's so good. I don't think I've ever watched it on a good TV. I think when I watched mm. it, I was on like a kind of. I think like even a 1080p back then. I don't even know. Yeah, um, that's, yeah. I don't even know if I had a 4K I never watched TV. It was surround sound. Yeah. Oh Jesus. So oh, yeah, it that, sounded good. Uh, did the um, uh, the water planet with time with the clicks? How did that sound? That sounded weird. <laughs> yeah. I always wanted to listen to that specific part with surround sound yeah, tick, because of the tick, tick, tick. Oh, dude, it tick, was freaky. Tick. Every every oh, tick. I was in my and the, not only that. The headphones I'm using have Dolby Atmos. I was watching it on my Xbox. So I was watching it in surround sound. And then I was like, you know what? Let me put headphones on. It's late. I put them on. So everything is in my headphones. Are nice. So no. I was like, literally, I was like, fucking go. Did you, do, do you know that the ticks, uh, for every tick, it's a year on mm-hmm. Earth? Did mm-hmm. you know that? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So good. Yeah, because every hour was seven years, I think it was. Or so, or, yeah i don't remember yeah they, they were it was when you get yeah, they the, were you gone get, when you get when back you get to the that back, ship was, and he's like oh, i've been waiting it's like, been 23 years and the guy's like, like why didn't you do he's like i couldn't oh, i so, couldn't sleep yeah so good like, oh, oh and they were like so good and like oh did you find the crash did you and they're like yeah and it was like the way the time worked she was just here just and she here. Just died. oh, oh my so god cool. Fuck, dude! I was like, "That's a wild." Oh, I gotta watch it again. It's so good. That's like one that's of the. Good that's one of my favorite movie. movies. That's one of yeah, my favorite movies ever. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I might watch that this weekend now. Yeah. Maybe my uh, my wife hasn't seen it yet, so mm-hmm. I'll see if I can coax her into watching it. She's never seen. Wait, she's never seen it. No. no. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, oh my god. Mm. So I might I might see if I can coax it's, her. It's one of those things. So like you never know. It's like if you like Matthew McConaughey as because uh, uh, some uh, like acting or whatever. Because you know uh, 
Uh, but like for this the is longest, a good movie. Well, for the longest time, he was the hey, hey you know, all right, all right, all right. Like he was, he was like this stoner comedy guy. You don't think he can? You don't think right, he can? Right. Pull, he almost pulls that entire movie. Oh, his acting yeah. is. Yeah, this movie was really good. Jesus. All right, that's the end of the <laughs> Interstellar <laughs> fan cast this week. Check us out next time when we talk about more Interstellar. Maybe we'll talk about another Christopher Nolan movie, and we'll just gush about Dark Knight. So good. <gasps> oh, God, it's the ship from Interstellar. The Mormondy. Anyways, uh, thank you so much <laughs> for <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to this week. This was a great week. Uh, very heavily rumored. Very heavily. Uh, uh, very. Uh, and uh, I, w- I would say um, that... Um, Xbox uh, news that broke kind of saved the show because we didn't have too, too much to talk about. But we talked mm-hmm. about the beginning of the show much longer than I thought. And I'm actually happy about that. So hopefully yep. everyone else liked the show. We had a great time. I know. Check us out every week. Of course, we come to you live every single Friday talking about what uh, what we think you should know about. Thank you so much for listening. We will see you next time. Until then. Go watch an Interstellar if you haven't already. And go Chief. Go Chief.